played against the Denver team that we know has the potential just to explode. They're an offensive team. Felt like we did a really good job on them defensively at times, but unfortunately, our turnovers, our lack of execution, our lack of sometimes being able to hit shots, okay? Two for 19 is not typical for us. Just kind of cost us the game. And so we're still learning, but you give you credit to Denver because they found a way to win. Coach, what do you do against a team that has those three players that just kind of come at you from all sides? We need to, I mean, if you looked at the game in its entirety, we had them late in the shot clock, late in the shot clock. This is a high-powered offensive team. So in a sense, we did a win there. But when it gets down to the end of the clock, it, it becomes isolation basketball. And we have to do a better job, a better job of knowing when to help. And we came off of their big way too much and gave way too many easy baskets. And we're talking about at the bench, we gotta be more disciplined with some of that stuff. But again, if we follow what we're supposed to do, I think that's the next step for our defense. Is there a positive in the fact that it was only those three players and not four? Correct, correct. And, and, and that's where we just have to clean it up. I mean, we did a good job on the rest of their players, but we've got to make sure that it doesn't, it doesn't go 20, 20, and 20. Amber, on a night when shots just aren't falling, what else are you looking for to get the offense kick-started? Yeah, um, we kind of talked after the game um, as a team that we need to get to the free throw line, and I think um, we did it in the first quarter. We kind of went away from it in the second and third and came back to it in the fourth, but I think that's something that – um, me and our team in general need to stay consistent with just to keep getting to that free throw line. It's over the past, you know, couple months it's been rare that you ever step off the floor. You know, is having increased time on the floor, does that help you get into rhythm at all or is there another reason why you just are always involved? Yeah, um, I think it helps um, being on the floor, getting in rhythm. I think like when I go out, I think um, it kind of like stops that rhythm. So I think just staying in the game and kind of getting stops on defense and things like that like keeps me in rhythm. Can you speak um, to the physicality of this game? It seems like you guys are finding a lot of ways to get to the rim, drawing fouls. Um, is that something that you were looking for on purpose to draw those fouls? You know, definitely. I mean, we knew that we would draw them. Um, and a lot of times when we were drawing them, we were drawing their big. And so it was difficult to sometimes get shots off. In the beginning, I think we got, we got shots right off. Second, she started coming over. So that's the next step is where do we find that next person? How do we find that weak side with that? And we'll watch the film and we'll probably work on that. Amber, is there a specific part of your game that you're going to be watching and filming closely? From this last game? Yep. I think, um, I mean, I'll definitely look at kind of my shot just to see if, like, there was something that was slightly off with that. But, um, yeah, that's, that's probably the main thing. Coach, I want to ask you some questions about your seniors and the list in your day, starting with Angie. How can someone make um, such a great impact on a team in just one season? You know, exactly. You know, when Angie was thinking of transferring, the first thing that we did is we met as a coaching staff with her because a lot of times you get fifth years, and fifth years are just coming in to get their stats. It's just about, you know, I mean, they're not connected to the team, and it's not about, you know, relationships. It's just, you know, I've got one more year, and, and I want to see what I can do, whereas Angie never even talked about that. And Angie came in, and it was about how can I add value? How can I, you know, grow as a person, grow as a leader? How can I really be a part of something? I want to be a part of a team. And so she did a really nice job with that. And then for Jordan Glenn, can you even measure what she's done for this program? No, you can't. I mean, you think of her route. All the people that she's been a part of. She comes in, and she's got teammates, Maddie Shermer. She's got Alyssa. She's got all these teammates that she's thinking, I'm going four years on this journey with these people. And then we go Division One and through COVID, and a lot of those people didn't go. And so then she's got new people that it's like, I got to connect with, I got to find with, and then I got to find my leadership. And not to mention, I got to find whether I belong. Because understand, most of those D3 players, they said, we can't do this. And she didn't, but she continued to find ways and look at 
it has opportunity for growth and opportunity of how does she serve this team. And then she made the connections. I mean, the beauty of it is the connection she has with the people she came in with. And then also all of these people behind her, even the fifth years, Amber and her have a great relationship. That would have never happened if Jordan wasn't willing to take a chance. And so Jordan's, Jordan's done a great job. She's modeled team, 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 service, 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 and grit. And I, I couldn't be prouder of her. Amber, um, can you speak to the competitive, competitiveness of the Summit League, no matter what the team's record is coming in, conference record, season record, that you know you're going to have a good game in the Summit League no matter what? Yeah, I mean, like you said, like every single game it's going to be a battle and, and there's no games that any team plays each other in the Summit League that is not going to be a, a competition. Like any game you play, it's going to be – it could be um, – an upset for anyone and I think you know tonight was kind of that I mean Denver obviously had not um, or had a worse record than us but like it doesn't matter everyone is kind of at the same le level here and I think that's the, the fun part of it is you get to play everyone and it's it's just gonna be a battle either way thank you thank you